all, it's me, Cheesy Panini, and I'll be talking a little bit about how I came to make this build. I actually had the idea for this build back when I was recording Arteria episode 7 back in May. I just finished creating a bunch of disgusting aliens and I had a lot of leftovers which consisted of flesh blocks, crimstone, desert fossils, desert fossil walls, and some amber gem spark walls. And I wasn't really thinking about it, I just wanted to be able to get rid of all those extra stuff and place them at this corner of the map. And that was when I kind of noticed that since the flesh blocks and desert fossil was not meshing together, they had a little bit of a gap and once I placed the amber gem spark walls behind it, it was like BOOM! I suddenly had this thought that it kind of looked like a heart. Or rather, it would be interesting to make a build with this combination of blocks together. It looked organic and gory and I have never really thought of making an organic build before or a build that wasn't just a house or a structure. The idea kind of excited me. I really really wanted to make it as soon as possible but since I was still trying to find a good balance between work and YouTube, I just couldn't put in the time until a couple of months later. For me to make an accurate depiction of an anatomically correct heart, I searched through the net to find myself a reference. I used this one in particular heavily throughout the build, but I made a few alterations after comparing it with several other pictures. After getting my references, I started sketching the heart on a paper with a grid to make it easy for me to draw the curves and the overall shape of the heart. But halfway through copying my sketch, I realized the heart was too small and ended up winging it. When I started building it, I knew I wanted to use flesh blocks, crimstone, and desert fossil, but I didn't know what other materials I should use, so I concentrated on getting the main shape of the heart first before replacing them with other blocks. I did a lot of trial and error with choosing which blocks were gonna mesh together, were gonna separate, and which ones actually look good with all the other ones. It's one of the reasons this build took so long to make. I actually came across a bunch of different problems too. One of the problems I had was lighting. Back then, when I was doing Arteria, the light from the gem spark walls seeped through the blocks in front, but when I was making this, it was completely dark for some strange reason. I thought it was because I was building underground in hell, so I tried copying the whole build and pasting it above ground. But even then, the gem spark walls weren't glowing the way they should, so I was panicking a little back there. I thought I was done for. If I couldn't do the effect I wanted, this build was not gonna come out the way I wanted it to. So I tried to salvage the build by looking through various light sources, but none of them could even light it up properly. The best light I could get was the white torch, but the problem with it is that it kind of negates the yellowish glow of the build and you couldn't hide it with paint. But even while I was looking through the lights, I thought it was kind of strange that even the regular torch wouldn't emit much light. So I had an inkling that maybe I needed to change something in the video setting and it turned out I was right. You can actually change the lighting effects. I did not know this. I probably saw it before and completely forgot it. Among all of the options, the build really shined when you used the color lighting effect. Another problem was curving the blocks. This part of the heart in particular took me quite some time to finish, so sketching really did help me at the start. But for the rest of the build, it was mostly trial and error. Now, I'm the type of builder who actuates a lot of blocks to add depth and shadows to a build, but with the heart, it kind of didn't look good. 
it looked super blocky so I had to depend heavily on finding blocks that mesh together and putting amber gem spark walls behind blocks in strategic places to make it look a bit more three-dimensional. Oh, and another tip. Don't be afraid of using ores on your builds. They make really good highlights, especially when you have gem spark walls at the back of the blocks. I feel like some people probably don't use them because they don't mesh with most blocks, but if you hammer them, they mesh together with any block quite well. Okay, this part of the build didn't really get to the final product, but I still thought it was worth showing people because you guys might get some ideas from it and might actually make a better version of this concept than I did. So basically, I didn't want to post a build with just the heart. I wanted some kind of supporting build around it to make it look like the heart belonged there. That the terrain was somehow built to match it. My first idea was to make a really big pool of lava underneath it and have two volcanoes on each side. And I had this really fun idea of putting flame traps underneath the lava that had timers attached to them so that there would be some kind of movement in the lava pool. And I also had this idea of putting super dart traps because I wanted the popping effect you get when a dart shoots up from a form of liquid. But yeah, it looked kind of off, so I decided to get rid of the dart traps in the end. Now, let me tell you why I didn't go with this backdrop. First and foremost, these volcanoes were made so lazily, like you have one big detailed build at the center, then you have these things that barely had any depth or shadow or block variety. It was just there just because it did not match the style of the heart build. I mean, if you're gonna build a volcano in this style, I think that's alright, but the problem is it doesn't match the amount of detail that the heart had. It just feels like it was pasted there. That's my main problem with it. It did not complement the build. I admittedly just wanted to get it over with because I was just so excited to show off this heart build. Another reason this part of the build would never have worked with the heart was also because the lava and all the things happening down there was distracting from the main subject. I wanted the heart to be the focus, not the lava pool. So a few days went by and I finally went back to this build and replaced it with the backdrop you saw in the time-lapse video. In this second version of the backdrop, I leaned toward darker colors with a smaller and more scattered amount of lava as an accent. Compared to the first version, I think the composition was a lot more balanced. I actually didn't have a solid plan for the terrain, but I knew I wanted the heart to drip lava into a small pool. So I put some lava droppers in the flat parts of the build, and what I did with the terrain first was to fill up the now empty space with stone walls before placing some blocks. I didn't want the blocks I used in the terrain to feel a little too disconnected with the rest of the place so I made the ash blocks and hellstone sort of blend in with the rest of the build. This way, it also feels a little less out of place and a lot more natural. I did a whole lot of experimenting with shapes until I had something that I thought was interesting. While building this, I found that placing desert fossils painted gray and actuating them helped make the terrain a lot more irregular and hid the blocky square shape of the walls. And that's how I made my Molten Heart build. I personally think it's far from perfect and there are a few mistakes I spotted way after I uploaded this, but I think that's okay. It's a learning process. I'm still super proud of this build, especially because this is the first time I attempted something like this. I already have an idea for my next build, but it might take a while before I get to upload it, so stay tuned.
Leave a like and comment if you enjoyed this little presentation of mine and actually made it all the way to the end. And please share my videos to your friends, pals, or people you think would find my stuff interesting. Hey, maybe you could knock on your neighbor's door and show them my video with no context. I don't know. Or you share it with your dog. Anyways, that's it for now. I'm just gonna go do my thing and you guys do your thing and I'll see you guys later. Take it easy. Stay cheesy.